Welcome to the followers and subscribers of Dr. Wadbah Geophysical Channel. Today I will raise an interesting topic for geophysicists and I hope that the information will be useful for everyone. I relied on several references while composing this presentation. I'm going to leave the research gate link for it in the video information for the purpose of further readings. The subject of this presentation is discussing the theory of Earth's magnetic field generation and its resulted effects. In this presentation, we are going to discuss a simple way the magnetic dynamic or ge geodynamo theory and how a certain planet, like our planet Earth, generates its own magnetic field. The geodynamo theory describes the rotation of magma currents and the effect of convection currents within the other outer core zone of the Earth. Such currents are electrically charged and exist in a very large scale and works to generate the magnetic field of our planet Earth and the other planets of our solar system. According to the astronomic time, the geodynamic theory considered as the most acceptable one in interpreting the generation of the Sun, planets and Earth's natural magnetic field. Geophysicists stated that the inner core of Earth is composed of plasma in which have the characteristics of solid-state material. The inner core consists mainly of iron and nickel under a very high temperature, which is close to sun surface temperature of about 5400 degrees centigrade. The figure shows the mechanism of dynamo in which the planet Earth performs in order to generate its own magnetic field. The high temperature which emitted by the inner core produces convection currents within a, the outer core and works to move the magma which represents a complex fusion of iron, nickel and other elements in a spiral manner. The magma gigantic swirls forms according to what called Coriolis force, referring to the scientist name who developed the theory. Natural electrical currents passes through the spiral gigantic magma swirls, which are particularly exist at the outer core of from the depth of 2,900 to 5,167 kilometers towards the Earth's center. As magma swirls are good conductors for the electrical current, so it works as a gigantic coil that generates magnetic field when the electrical current passes through. The resultant of magma gigantic spiral swirls magnetic fields represents the main Earth's fields. Coriolis force is an inertia force which generates uh, in the liquid state material contained inside a solid boundary and rotating around its own axis. This is similar to filling a tire with water and making it rotating around its own axis. This would make a swirl inside the liquid rotating in a, an opposite direction to the solid part rotation. Such rule is also proved while forming tornadoes swirls in some meteorological studies. The geodynamic theory describes the circulation behavior of magma convection currents and its electrical induction which it produces Earth's magnetic field and its long-term existence. Melted iron and nickel abundance within the outer core considered as the main cause of Earth's natural magnetic field. Well, if you are talking about the zone, the tachocline zone, which composed of ionized gases, 
considered as the main solar zone, which uh, generates the sun magnetic field. The dynamo theory uses magnetic hydrodynamic equations in order to define the continuity of magnetic field production from inside the Earth and other planets. In the past, it was thought that the dipolar magnetic field in which declines from the actual Earth's rotation axis by 11.3 degrees is generated by the permanent rocks magnetization of a cross rocks. While the dynamo theory restricted on explaining the solar magnetic field and its relation to Earth's magnetic field. A hypothesis was presented by Joseph Larmor in 1919 after making several st studies concerned about the variations of Earth's magnetic field in years time scale, which called the secular variations, plus the studies which related to the paleomagnetism of Earth, including magnetic poles reversal during Earth's historical age. The theory was supported by seismological and astronomical evidences in which related to the abundance of some elements in their composition. This hypothesis, in addition to Carl's of Frederick Gauss's theory, explained clearly the internal origin of Earth's magnetic field rather being of external origin. There are three main conditions for a certain planet to generate its own magnetic field which are number one it must has a fusible zone with good electrical conductivity in its structure number two there must be a motion energy produced by the planet's rotation around its own axis number three the presence of internal very high temperature source of energy which produces the convection currents of magma Convection currents generate within the iron fusion of Earth's outer core and due to Earth rotation swirls inside the fusion which formed according to Coriolis effect. While electrical current passes through these swirls which are arranged vertically and in a horizontal manner to Earth's rotation axis, magnetic field get generated. Earth's natural electrical field. Earth has a DC electrical current which is natural and continuous extending from its surface upward towards the ionosphere. Generally, Earth's electrical field is about 150 volts per meter near its surface. This electrical field decreases exponentially with the elevation above the sea level and the increase of ionosphere conductivity. This decrease is about 1 volt per meter for each 30 kilometers of height. The Earth's electrosphere is elevated about 60 kilometers above its surface and located within the magnetosphere or the Earth's plasma zone. Earth's magnetic field. It's also called Earth's geomagnetic shield and represents a field which extends from Earth's interior towards the outer space facing the solar wind and the currents of charged particles. Earth's magnetic field on the surface is about 25 to 65 microteslas or about 0.25 to 0.65 gausses. The Earth's magnetic, magnetic axis declines about 11.3 degrees from the axis of its rotation. If we consider that Earth represented a, a, a gigantic magnetic wear its center is the 
Earth center and its axis is declined with 11.3 degrees from its rotation axis, then its north magnetic pole near Greenland and on Earth's southern hemisphere will represent a positive magnetic pole. And vice versa, the southern geographic pole will represent a negative magnetic pole. Earth's natural magnetic field differs from artificial magnet bar field because it's variable in the secular time scale. Magnetic secular variations in Earth's natural field are due to the origin of formation which are presented by the gigantic magma swirls inside the outer core. Magnetic poles are located relatively close to geographic poles, but the magnetic poles wanders across the geological time. This polar wandering is not felt in years time scale, but it was proven in the hundreds of thousands of years time scale. Therefore, humans depend on Earth's magnetic field to know their directions during navigation as it doesn't show short-term variations. During a long period of time, in the scale of hundreds of thousands of years, magnetic poles reversal has proven scientifically where the northern pole becomes a southern pole and vice versa. Poles reversal across the geological time was recorded in oceanic basaltic floors around the mid-oceanic ridges. Such records were extremely important in studying the paleomagnetism of Earth, especially the intensity of the paleomagnetic field of Earth and its direction. Such information is also important in dating the motion of plate tectonics and ocean floor spreading. Magnetosphere extends to many tens of thousands of kilometers towards the Earth's outer space protecting its surface from cosmic rays and the charged particles of solar wind. Without the existence of Earth magnetic shield, atmosphere, including ozone horizon, get destructed where they used to protect Earth's surface from harmful radiation. The figure represents a computational simulation of Earth's nowadays magnetic field. The lines represent the magnetic field lines. The blue lines are directed towards Earth's center, while the yellow ones are directed towards uh, outside. The figure here shows the main characteristics of Earth magnetic field. And this figure shows how the magnetic poles are wandering. So you can see that from year 1831 to, to the year 2001, the polar wandering represented a distance of about 600 kilometers. This figure shows the Earth's magnetic shield and the, uh, its main zones which numbered from 1 to 7 and uh, how do they protect the Earth from the cosmic ray. There is another figure which showing the uh, earth and its magnetic shields and how does it work to protect uh, the planet from the cosmic ray and the solar winds for further information uh, please follow the link of the research gate uh, which i am going to uh, add it to the video information and thank you very much for uh, watching have a good time.